Good afternoon. I'm going to do an unboxing on the Rainfresh portable filter. Now, the nice thing about Rainfresh, or some of the nice things, the features I like, um, that it's Canadian. It's Canadian made. They've been doing uh, filters for many, many, many years. And um, it filters out all impurities out of your water. Now, we typically bought this for our RV uh, because you might not necessarily always get good water. Um, but even in the city, you get some of the stuff that you don't want. Uh, there's, uh, uh, you know, might be heavy metals, that kind of thing. Probably not in a city, but that's, it can filter out heavy metals. Uh, if you get the right filter elements, you can filter out fluorine if you want. Uh, this will take the chlorine out of the water um, and just make it uh, uh, pure. It will also take out cytoplasms and, and uh, um things like that that may cause problems, you know, like parasites that are in the water, beaver fever, that kind of thing. Um, so it's important to have a good source of water. Uh, and we've looked at it. Now there's several different companies out there. Uh, Rainfresh is the Canadian version. Uh, it's probably about half the price of the Berkey. Now the Berkey is more is better known. Um, and it does basically the same thing. The Berkey is about twice as, more, twice as much as the Rainfresh. And that's not the option that we look at. The nice thing is I look at it. I like to buy a Canadian if I can. It's a Canadian company. Uh, they know the Canadian problems and the issues and stuff like that. Um, it was a good price. It was uh, about $70 cheaper on Amazon than it would have been from Rainfresh themselves. Plus they pay, pay the shipping. Um, I sound like a cheap escape, but I'm, that's not the truth. I, I basically, um, lots of people go without uh, filters. Uh, I've decided that a filter would be a good thing for safety. Um, nothing like getting a little bit of uh, food poisoning or, or something like that from water. That wouldn't be a very good thing. So there you are. And inside you have lots of bubble wrap. So it's covered in, uh, it's in kind of a foam bag or. Nice and shiny. Well, until I put my fingerprints on it. There you go. So it's got a rubber stopper on it so it can sit on something without marring the surface or anything like that. So it nestles inside each other very well. You have a lid. I'm pretty sure that that's uh, the inner part of it. Very shiny, very nice. Woohoo! And these are the filters. That's well packed. So this will filter out dirt and debris and it's way down into the micron set uh, level. So um, it's only the very, very smallest stuff that's going to get through these filters. They're ceramic filters. Uh, they're cleanable. They're reusable. They're, um, you should be able to clean them up and uh, reuse them, flush, back flush them. That is if you can ever get them out of the bag. Good grief. Definitely did not want it getting out of here. 
says right on there, fragile ceramic filter. I'm not going to break easily. Oh, yeah. One, two. Three. Oh, there you go. Four filters. Uh, connecting hardware for the filters and the tap. Uh, introduction notes and warnings. All right, so your list is you still contain container set with base, spigot, four ceramic filters, scrubbing pad, filter gauge, hole plug. Um, unpack the unit, separate the two steel containers. Four ceramic ca cartridges, spigot, cleaning pad, and gauge are shipped inside the container, remove contents, and lay aside. All right, so slide one gasket on the spigot with a flat side facing spigot. Once again, a sealed egg. Okay, steel. There's a spigot. Okay, there's your spigot. I say to insert one of these with the flat side towards the spigot. There you go. Insert that in here. Okay, on the opposite side, we do the flat side away from the speed. Bit. And then we tighten it on with the, the nut. There you go. I don't, know if you, I don't know if you have to cork that down or not. Firmly hand tighten the nut. Place the bottom container now on rubber base. Remove wing nut from one cartridge and slide on the rubber cut gasket on the ceramic cartridge nozzle. So after instruction is stated, insert that into one of the holes, gasket on the inside of the container, and then you take this off underneath. One. Filter, ceramic, onion tap on it, you can put the gasket and the uh, two in. Put it all right too much for the day, I'm going to pass it, you can put it on, you can put it too much. Okay. Make all the filters themselves, and put it ready to go. Basically, the two hands pass it here, and I'm going to fill my hands. You just keep it up until it's full. And it's over, you should have to clean water off. So, that's the main fresh. Portable filter. Nice looking unit, and I don't think it'd be... Really too bad about having it uh, 
um, sitting on your counter or anything like that. So they're included in this is a filter gauge and I'm not sure what that's for. I guess to check and see if the filter is worn. Oh, here we go. Okay, so do not use soap or detergents when cleaning. Use only water when the water is taking much longer to flow from top to bottom. The cartridge requires cleaning. Use cleaning pad provided for best results. Cartridge may be cleaned many times and control cartridge gauge can be passed over width of the... So once this passes easily over the filter, it's time to replace the filters. And then they have cleaning instructions. Shouldn't have to do that for a bit. It'll, I imagine it's going to go through a few. So we have... I'm not sure what these are for. Extra spigots. Oh, we have a lid. A knob for the lid. So theoretically we can fill this up tonight and uh, by tomorrow we, we should have a full bottom container of clean filtered water. Thanks so much for watching. Please uh, hit the subscribe and like and notifications. Um, and I've got some other stuff coming down the pipe. I'm going to be doing a, a look at a barbecue real quick here. Um, and we're going to do a review on that possibly today. But it will be coming down shortly. So if you like this kind of thing or you're, you're thinking about this, uh, we have carefully researched all the, all the products that we get. Um, and we are not paid by the company to do this. This is purely on our own. This is something that we selected. We felt that the rain, well, we looked at the Berkey, uh, but there was no sales, no options on that. Uh, the Berkey is twice as, twice as more expensive than the Rain Fresh. And I think the Rain Fresh has been doing this for years and years and years. They've been uh, known for uh, in-house water filters and that kind of thing for many, many years. Uh, so uh, I have confidence in them. I have confidence in their technology, and I believe that they make very good product. And uh, we'll maybe do a, a review down the road on it on, uh, you know, first uses and stuff like that and how we thought it worked out. Thank you. And just so you know, this is the SM4 gravity water filter. And it's designed to trap and kill bacteria 99.9999%. Uh, e. coli, coliform, fecal coliform and trap 99.95% protozoan cysts, for example, Giardia and Giardia, Cyctosporidium, and filter particles as small as 0.3 micron, 99.9%. .9%. Reduces chlorine, taste, and odor, giving safe, fresh, clean, and great tasting water. Can be used on well, lake, pond, river, cistern, or even municipally treated water. Contains four self-disinfecting, sil silver-impregnated, ceramic cartridges, uh, which are cleanable and reusable. Thank you.